Hi and welcome to uh, this week's Thorsten Tech Chat. I'm pleased to be joined uh, by my colleague uh, Philip Dodge, who's one of our solution specialists. Hi Phil, how are you today? Hi there guys, yeah, fine to say, thank you very much. Thank you for sparing us some time today, Phil. Um, so, got a really good question for you again this week, um, which uh, came up from, from one of our uh, prospective customers actually, um, who were asked, asked a very good question, which is, if I um, don't want to use a, like a production scheduling Gantt chart, um, are there other tools and other ways that I can use to, 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 to manage my jobs? And in particular, this this customer was already using Trello and mm -hmm. was was keen to see if they could carry on using Trello um, integrated with Austin. So is is that something we can do? How, 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 what, what can we do, Phil? Well, indeed, you know, obviously uh, a raison d'etre is the integration to other third party applications. And we have actually done, you know, an integration to Trello. It's not an out of the box one because it can be very specific to the, spe the specific site and what they actually want to achieve. But I, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a little video on how either using a variety of scripts or alternatively the Tharston API, we can actually do an integration obviously to Tharston. Cool. So this is using our our Tharston API, is it, to facilitate an integration to, to Trello? Yeah, using scripts and the API. So there's a, cool. there's a multitude of ways that this can be done. Yeah. Excellent. Let's have a look. I'm excited. OK, so I'm just going to share my screen. Um, and uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fire up the video so you guys can actually see what's going on. So we've got a job list here, as you can see, mm -hmm. whole batch of jobs. Um, and basically what we actually want to do is we want to be able to put these onto the Trello board. OK, and you can see that there is our Trello board with a series of uh, basically columns ready to plan, ready to print, printing and basically complete. And again, this could be different on your particular site, hence why it's not an out of the box integration. It's something that, that has to be um, sort of modified and, and excited because it can vary from from, uh, you know, basically Trello board to Trello board. So what we're doing here is we're basically taking these jobs, as you can see, um, these list of jobs here, and we're going to go and actually um, submit them. So what we're actually doing here, and we're changing the status of these in this particular case, as you can see, we're saying that they are production ready. So those of you that, those of you that use production scheduling know that that's a trigger for it to go into the unplanned list of the scheduling board. Well, in the same token, this actually sends data to Trello, and you can see those jobs are now loading into the ready to plan column. And the key point to note is the various colors that are actually coming through here. Um, the, the, the kind of yellow colors identifying the CSR, and we can also see whether it's urgent or not based upon the actual date criteria attributed to the job. We can also see who the CSR is, or the sales rep, I should say, being highlighted there, and also what the type of job is with the job number, its uh, title, and also we can see the estimated time and quantity actually taking place here as well. So that data has been pushed, if you like, to the uh, Trello um, system basically and appears in the ready to plan column so that a user who's interacting with Trello could then start if they wanted to to place these into one of the other columns. So that's what we're going to do kind of next. We're going to just start to actually move those across um, and this would be a, a great way of you to basically manage that process. So you can see the cards themselves are now being uh, put across in a sequence that you want them to be manufactured in. So it doesn't have to be the sequence they were loaded to the ready to plan column. Um, so you can see I'm just you know, dragging and dropping these into um, the actual columns in random areas. And you can also see here, I'm deliberately putting one of the jobs into the completed column. This would, could, could actually simulate uh, basically an accident and putting it into the wrong column. And we'll see that that will be significant later on. Uh, inside the demonstration as well. So this would allow your, your, your users to prioritise effectively their work to list inside the facility. And what we're also showing you here is we're showing you our shop floor data collection system, which would be utilising barcode technologies here. Um, this will be the feedback loop to tell Trello and Tharston what's going on. So you can see I'm working on, in this case, the HP 7800. Um, and basically, um, what I would actually have is a, probably a physical job bag related to that job number, and I would scan it. In this case, to simulate that process, I'm literally tapping it in, which of course you can do, and it's identifying both the operation, okay, um, and basically the various milestone and the part it's linked to. I could change it, but in this case, I'm going to confirm that I'm doing that thing. So that is telling Tharston that something's happening, and that also um, telling that data to or sending that data to Trello and you can see that that particular card has now jumped into the printing column. So that's great because um, those people who are utilizing Trello 
as a work to list can see what's happening. But those mm -hmm. people inside Tharston, when they go to the job list, you'll notice that when we refresh the list, it's identifying the current operation and also the milestone against it. And also you can see there is something called a JDF status, which we're using as a feedback loop here to say it's being printed. But you can also see it's it's got the actual statuses that we've submitted obviously to Trello itself. So this is a great way that both in Tharston and basically uh, for those users who are utilizing the Trello board, we know what's actually happening to the job inside uh, the production facility. So that's kind yeah. of a, a cool thing, basically. It is, yeah, indeed, indeed. It's very, very, very cool. Um, and it is a nice, simple way, I guess, to, to, to have that visualization of whereabouts jobs are. And it's probably ideal for, um, well, we know it's ideal for, for you know, like digital printers or even design agencies uh, or, or smaller businesses that, that don't want to use the full production scheduling uh, tool, but, but need that kind of almost like Kanban approach to, to be able to, yeah. to see whereabouts things are. And in this particular, as you just saw there, the, the shop floor data collection there, I've actually finished that particular printing operation. And again, yeah. what will actually happen is that sends that data back to Tharston and that also updates the Trello board and it's moved it to the computer because we have, um, you know, obviously printed that particular thing. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's really good. So that, that that's kind of cool as well. Um, but we can also see in this case, if you remember, I moved a job uh, basically straight into the complete section as if to simulate an accident basically yeah. like okay. a scheduled incorrectly onto onto the area there but if the operator then starts to actually in this case print that particular uh, job what will actually happen is that again feeds back to the Tharson system and then it, it tells Trello oh actually it should be printing and you can see that the actual card mm -hmm. is now moved into the actual printing column as well oh, yeah. and that's pretty cool as well so you know it means it's taking the actual feedback from the shop floor data collection system mm, itself. Mm, mm. Yeah, that is very good. Very good. Very, very uh, kind of real time uh, view of everything, isn't it? That's good. So just to summarize then, rather than utilizing like a, a Gantt chart to have to schedule it, we're using the cards to represent those jobs, which we're putting into the sequences that we want against the ready to 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 print option for in this case the HP 7800 mm. and then through the shop floor data collection activities that's updating both Trello and Tharston mm. at the same time. Excellent that's really good a great answer to that question there Phil thank you very much so if you've any queries or uh, questions about this particular um, uh, tech chat then please meet us in the comments below uh, and if you have any questions that you'd like us to answer in our thoughts and tech chat then again get in touch either put it with the comments below or uh, send us a message would be great to hear from you so thanks for uh, watching and joining us today thanks a lot phil and see you all again soon thanks a lot guys bye cheers